the first two days after my surgery in Dallas, I had to lay in the bed like I couldn't move my knee at all. So I was just sitting there, just staring at the ceiling and just praying, asking God, like, please help me. And then I got players like Bradley Chubb, uh, Cortland Sutton, um, KJ Hamler, and them, they all just text me every day, like, bro, it's going to be all right. Like, we already been through it. You're going to be good. Don't worry about nothing. Yeah, it really touched me personally, being that I got a foster sister and just seeing everything that she went through before she was even born. Um, like the way her parents were and how they treated her while she was still pregnant with her. And just seeing my mom and my grandmother and my whole family pretty much just take somebody else's child in and try to give them the same life that me and my sister said. bring awareness to it because I feel like people just go day for day and like just forget about small things like somebody having toilet paper or a paper towel or things like that and I just want to let people know like life is still a blessing like no matter how, how rich you are how poor you are everybody need help sometimes or in some kind of way and just bring awareness to that and just helping people out that's really what I want to do. Hey, you can still help other people even though I'm down like my knee hurt I can't do what I love play football like I can still help other people out and I feel like that's that's the reason God gave me this downtime just to open my eyes to that. I feel good just seeing that my parents got a big heart. I really think they had empty nest syndrome though. Once me and my sister left, I felt like they got lonely and they needed it. <laughs> they needed it. <laughs> but nah, it just it just showed me like how big their heart is and just that I, I was really blessed with two good parents.